All right, we're on the air. Welcome to the Believer's Voices. Um, tonight I want to just share a couple minutes with you about uh, about some things the Bible says that might encourage you concerning being overwhelmed in this world. If there's any time that people are overwhelmed, it's right now. Um, it's just it's just sometimes it, it can just, one day it seems to be, oh, this isn't so bad, and the next day you just don't know where to go. Well, you know, the Bible says... Uh, Jesus instructs us, live for the worries of today. Don't worry about tomorrow. And he uses an analogy how the birds don't worry, and they seem to be having, they, they seem to have food and, and such like that. It says, how much more does your Heavenly Father care for you? And these things need to be taken into consideration. We need to think about this. Um, uh, having said that, uh, I listened to a preacher the other day on TV, and actually it was on the radio, and it was so interesting how, how good he made me feel because he was using scripture. And he was saying, he said, God made us to live day by day. And that's why he said, let today worry about today. And let tomorrow worry about itself. Let the worries of tomorrow w w uh, happen when they come. But but if we take, if you, if you, and I can guarantee, I don't even, this might be for somebody, I don't care who I'm talking to tonight. If you take all the things in your life that you want to accomplish or that you want to do or that have to be done yet, and you sit and start thinking about them, you're going to get overwhelmed. It's going to, it's, it's a good chance you're going to get anxiety. You're going to start worrying. You're going to think, what has, what if this happens? You're going to think, what if that happens? And Jesus instructed you, live day by day, okay? Live day by day and remember, you got a purpose. And your purpose isn't to have a, a ton of money and, and just... Be wealthy and be comfort comfortable. I'm coming to know that I think God wants every single one of us to step out of our comfort zone. If you look at the Bible, the Bible when you talk about Daniel, he was put in the lion de lion's den. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were put in the fiery furnace. I mean, John the Baptist, he had his head cut off, which most of the uh, disciples of Jesus Christ were 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 martyred. And and look at it, 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 the, the these are all severely outside of the comfort zone of the average person. And we need to understand we're dealing with eternity, like I spoke the other day. God is dealing with eternity. And the more you tether, the more we tether to this world, and the more you get comfortable with, with the things of this world, the more difficult it's going to be to separate from them. Now, you and I both know we're going to have to separate one day. There's going to come a day it's going to be over. It's going to be done. I don't want to expound on this and, and be the doom and gloom guy, but we, we can do some math right now. The closer you tether yourself to this world, and oh, I want to be so comfortable. I want to be nice in my own little comfort zone. If you look at Scripture and all of the spiritual giants of the Scriptures, it was quite the opposite. They stepped outside of their comfort zone. The Bible says those who are willing to leave his, 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 his mother, father, brother, sister, wife, children, not leave, leave, but just go to your side of your comfort zone and land for my name's sake will be rewarded so much. And the Bible says there's a, there is such a reward for those who do that. And I mean, I remember the story Billy Graham was talking and he said he would just be crying and crying and crying well, he'd go down his driveway looking through the river mirror and his kids and wife were waving. He had a, a crusade he was going on for several months overseas and whatnot. But, I mean, I mean, most of us don't want to do that. We don't want to get in the car. We don't want to travel. We don't want to step outside of our comfort zone. And maybe that is not outside your comfort zone. Maybe your comfort zone is something else. But again, the more we tether to this world, the closer we tether to it. Oh, let's just let's just observe. And less we think, and the less we think about our Creator, the more difficult it's going to be to be ripped apart. The more hard it's going to be when it when it comes and it says, "Hey, your time here on this planet is done." If the only thing you ever did is is oh, it's the holidays right now. We got to do our thing, and everything's got to be just right, and we're going to do this and sing Christmas carols, and and this is what we do at this time of the year, and in the summertime we well, this is our ritual this is our routine and it's all in our little comfort zones i f i think the more you do that as you get older the more the question will echo in your head what is this world all about what is this world all about this world is about you sharing the gospel learning the gospel ourselves teaching other people and telling them you know 
does it, if I tell you you're going to get a, a trophy or something like this because you won the Nationals or, or, or whatever it was, that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But would you, would you trade your life for that? No, you wouldn't trade your life for that. But God is telling you, I can, I can offer you a life with no end. So just, just take that with you. I went farther than I should have today again. But it's just a little food for thought. Just remember, uh, you know, take day by day. If you look at all of those things you have to accomplish in this world and just slice them up each day by day by day. What do I got to do today? Do I got to make that phone call today? Do I got to do this today? And what do I do, what, do, let tomorrow do itself? Each day. That's how God designed us, designed us to live. Each day. Don't look at the things that are going to overwhelm you. And that, and we all have things that we can't, that we want to do, that we need to do, that we know is on our agenda, that we we can't do it in one day. And if you start thinking, I want to get all this done, I got to get all that done, you're, you're, going, to, you're going to be under anxiety. Just slow down. Slow down. You, you don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow. We all live moment by moment. Just take day by day and go, go along to your bedside and talk to God about these things and say, just day by day, Lord, can you be with me? Can you be with me here? Let's tackle this. And just mellow out and know that if you choose him, he's going to watch over you. I'm not even going to begin to start telling you the scriptures, the comforting scriptures, that he's, he's, you're, going, you're going to go through the fire, I'm going to go through the fire, but in the midst of that fire, you're going to have peace because you know that you have a destiny of eternity. So put your priorities straight. You know, I'm not saying all these other things are wrong or bad. I'm just saying when, when, when someone offers you a life with no end in a paradise, you know, you might want to take it up and take, take a look at what's being offered. But again, thanks for watching. My name is Matt with the Believer's Voices. Let's see if this thing goes off. Did it go 